another lore video today guys the 10 stone hearts the 10 stone hearts if you're interested in this faction or if you're interested in the lore but can't be bothered to do a lot of the reading and listening when you go through the story this video is for you if you just want to know a little bit more about them and you can't be bothered to look it up yourself this video is for you we're going to talk about the 10 stone hearts today because i like them i think they're a cool concept and i'm looking forward to seeing more of them playable in the future if they will be so this specific latest story patch 2.3 was quite interesting because we found out a lot more about the 10 stone hearts we found a little bit about them during the couple of pentacony patches uh, with aventurine but this specific patch we found out quite a lot more from jade herself and a little bit of info on topaz about how their powers work specifically the cornerstone powers so let's talk about it okay the 10 stone hearts are as we know members of the ipc the international peace corporation they've been very involved with the story from the beginning i mean they're basically the enforcers or i guess you could even call them a sort of empire of sorts of the world of Honkai Star Rail. They're trying to go around and just control as many planets as possible for preservation. They literally follow the Aeon of preservation. They have an emanator of preservation, AKA diamond. Like they're literally like, yeah, they just want to secure the world and make sure everything's going to be okay. Basically there's more to it obviously, but for like a general, like that's what they want to do, right? They're the IPC. They just literally in the name, peace. They just want peace and they want a little bit of control. We watch enough anime, we play enough video games. We know what's up with them, right? But more specifically than that, the Ten Stone Hearts are members of the Strategic Investment Department. This department is responsible for being visionaries. Their investments are never obsessed with short-term returns. They're always thinking about like the long term, what's going to happen in the next couple of Amber Eras, how is this going to affect us a couple of Amber Eras down? What's the long-term effect of us investing in this specific project that we're doing, or this planet we're trying to take over, or yada 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 yada, right? One cool thing about the strategic investment department they say actually have some pretty cool feats they eradicated the swarm infestation in the galante sector if i'm pronouncing that correct let me know i can't remember if that's how it's pronounced there was a stellaron incident in some mining world and they helped procure fresh resources um, of minerals from there for the ipc after which is good for trade and as we know they on paper officially reclaimed the lost world of urelo 6 but that was us that was us we reclaimed it right so they didn't do that that one was on paper and they've cooperated with the Garden of Recollection. All this info is at your disposal, by the way. If you're someone who, if you don't really care, if you don't want to listen to me talk about it, hey, just check the data bank, right, in the game. It's all there. Specifically behind all these events, um, there's a team, as we know, the Ten Stone Hearts, and they will play a prominent role in all of these events that happen. They're also known as non-performing asset liquidation specialists, right? They're like basically the elite team underneath Diamond's direct management. Now, this is where a lot of confusion might come in the community. You might think, oh, hold on. I thought Diamond, like, he's got the title as well. No, no, no. Diamond is not one of the Ten Stone Hearts. The Ten Stone Hearts follow Diamond. This is reiterated in the latest story patch. With Jade, it's Ten Stone Hearts that follow Diamond. Diamond himself is not a Stone Heart. He recruited them all and gave them their dual titles and gave them one of the cornerstones, the Ten Cornerstones, that he himself derived from Clipoth the Preservation because he is one of the emanators of preservation within the IPC, which is an emanator for Clipoth. Jade gave Firefly an offer. She said, hey, I want to meet all you guys. And we'll go from there. She's basically offered and willing to meet with the Stellar Hunters. And obviously, Firefly's like, well, hold on. We don't have to cross path with you guys. But we know the IPC, like, we're wanted. Like, what's going on? And she's like, well, listen, look. It ain't to do with the IPC. This is this is literally a personal offer. Like, I want to meet you guys. On She's basically, on behalf of Diamond, has extended an offer to the Stellar Hunters, right? And obviously, Firefly's being like sus. And she's like, listen, look. We ain't like you guys. We don't like you guys. You guys, um, this is this is just me. To me, the Stellar Hunters are basically the League of Villains, right? From My Hero. A bunch of misfits that have their own quirks that get on really well with each other, but they're all kind of outcasts in society in some way. So I see them as like the League of Villains. Anyway, I'm going off track. So yeah, she mentions, we're not like you guys. You guys are like all friends. You all like pretty cool. But within the 10 Stone Hearts, we band together, but only because we're all after different things. We have completely different voids, aka ambitions in their hearts. And we literally are just connected by this power that Diamond has given us, uh, the cornerstones, right? And they all made an oath. And this oath is mortal flesh is fragile, yet my heart is unyielding like the monolith. But without this resolve, the way of preservation would fade into oblivion. And it's not a normal oath like, yes, I pledge all allegiance to Diamond. I will do exactly what Diamond says. No, 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 no. It's a form of collateral, like in exchange for money, power, like a, a promising future, right? These guys are allowed to go around and follow through on their ambitions as long as it benefits the IPC and the strategic investment department and Diamond himself, because the stronger they are, it'll help benefit them when the legendary war of the Aeons comes to pass. And then later on, we also find out how the cornerstones even work. So obviously we all saw Aventurine transform into his sexy looking Fatui aesthetic like transformation uh, in the boss fight. But not all of the 
cornerstones are just full on like power buffs, right? So we find out from Topaz when we talk to her in 2.3 that not all the cornerstones actually work that way. So some users of the cornerstones might be able to read your thoughts, others might be able to grasp your desires, it might all be mental stuff. It's not exactly always based on prowess. And what's even more interesting is she follows up by this, but if you guys remember back in, uh, I believe it's 1.4, it's a long time ago now, man. Oh my God. Um, when we have our running with Topaz, there was a moment when she was about to get like mad serious, like mad serious, right? And then Bronya obviously intervenes at the last minute and we end up not having to seriously hurt each other, right? When we actually throw hands with Topaz. And she specifically mentions here that if Bronya didn't step in when she did, us and her probably wouldn't have even been friends. So I'm like, what the hell was your power? that you thought we wouldn't even like been cool with you like after you used it like I'm, I'm very interested to see um later down the line if she uses it like how she uses it what type of power it is i think that'd be really interesting and it also leaves like imagination for the other members right so the only members we actually know of so far outside of the three playable ones we know jade is coming later on in this patch so outside of jade topaz and aventurine the ones we know that exist are the members pearl obsidian and opal that is six of the ten stone hearts I do wonder if they're, they're most likely gonna have what, like a ruby, get a sapphire, maybe a lapis. It will be interesting in future down the line to see what characters get named with other jewels that we don't know of yet. And that's it really, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the 10 stone hearts. Um, are you excited for them? Are you excited for their designs, what they could be, what jewels could be picked for the other characters in terms of the lore and stuff? Are you interested in what their powers might be? We got a mini preview as to some of the designs of these characters outside of the three that we know in the latest patch. So that'll be really interesting to see which one we meet next. I, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I think we potentially have the chance to meet the guy on the top next since that character seems to have the most distinct like looking like you can kind of tell, kind of get an actual proper glance of what their outfit is, right? Out of all of them there. But that is it for now, guys. Thank you for sticking with it this far in the video. If you have, um, Maybe we'll talk about some more factions going forward. I do find the factions in this game very interesting. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, pop the bell if you're interested for any more new videos. And I'll catch you later.